Bienvenido, aloha, and welcome to foundation lesson number 25. Miss Susan here, and thank you for spending a bit of time with me today doing fun activities. First things first, question of the day. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Awesome, my friend. I would choose to fly for sure. I would soar with the birds and fly right over traffic. Check me out. All right, builders, today's lesson is all about cooperation. Do you know what the definition of cooperation is? Let's check it out together. Yes, cooperation is defined in the dictionary as the actions of someone who is doing what is wanted or a common effort. For us, cooperation is simply following directions and working together to complete a task. Sometimes it can be difficult to follow directions or work with others. For example, Maybe your team is making the tallest tower made out of only spaghetti noodles and mini marshmallows. Would you start with the marshmallows or the spaghetti? This might be a disagreement for your team. It would be important to decide this together. When we work together and cooperate with others, we can be efficient and achieve great things. Also, think of the Incredibles from Disney. They work together and use each of their unique skills to solve problems and save the world. Elastigirl can stretch and make herself into a parachute. Dash is so fast and efficient. Violet can make herself invisible so she can sneak past her enemies. Mr. Incredible has super strength. He can fight enemies by blocking their path. Just like the Incredibles, we all have different strengths. Cooperation brings everyone's strengths together to make an unbeatable force. Cooperation isn't always easy though. Working with others can make us frustrated sometimes. Maybe you don't feel like the group is listening to your ideas. Maybe they choose an idea that wasn't yours. They might even tell you they didn't like your idea. This can sometimes be upsetting, but we can use all of our coping skills to overcome it rather than hit or yell. We use our words, not our fists, right? By doing this, you're participating in cooperation and are showing others that you are ready and willing to listen to their ideas. Sadly, you might hear or witness people not cooperating in your community. This may even be through violence. Violence is never the answer, my friends. If you see this, you should definitely stay away, find someone to help, talk to an adult about your feelings, or use your coping skills to help deal with bad feelings you have about the situation. Remember that you do not have to participate in violence or be violent yourself. Being able to talk to others, process your emotions in a healthy way, and work through hard situations will help you become a better cooperator. There will be many times in your life and you'll need to listen and cooperate with others such as your mom, dad, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, and even teachers and classmates. One time I was working on a group project to create a superhero mural with my classmates. We all had different ideas on how we wanted it to look and nobody was listening to one another. I told everyone we should find a way to include everyone's ideas together to create one big painting. Everyone painted a different superhero in the big picture. We were all able to cooperate and do the same amount of work. The superhero mural looks so cool. Tell me one way that you've showed cooperation in your life. Was it when you helped dry and put away the dishes as your mom washed them? Maybe it was when your teacher put you in Paris to play a math game. How about a time you played a game of Lava Monster with your sisters, cousins, or friends? During your life, you'll face many situations where you'll have to cooperate with others, but I know you will do an awesome job. Here are a few things to remember when acting with cooperation. Number one, respect those around you, including their space, belongings, wishes, and beliefs. Number two, Use your listening ears and try to understand what they're telling you before offering your advice. Number three, be a problem solver. Work with others to find a plan that works for everyone. Number four, be open about your opinions and feelings. Let your voice be heard, but make sure to be polite by using your I feel statements. Number five, it's important to put the team first. The ideas of the team are louder than the ideas of one person. Great job, builders. Let's get started going through today's schedule. 
Today's snack time is a little different. You'll be watching a video where I get to talk to you a little bit about cooperation. Maybe you can even grab a family member and practice your cooperation skills as you make a snack together. Next, we've chosen two books we think that you'll enjoy. These stories use fun examples to teach you how to cooperate. Then you'll be interviewing someone in your life. Draw or write what you think cooperation means to the other person while you are speaking to them, then show them the picture and ask what they would change. At the end of the activity, you can try presenting what you learned about this person to the rest of your family. Then, let's math it. Today, we'll be working on shapes and angles. Kindergartners will be looking for shapes. Younger kids will be counting sides of shapes, and the oldest students will be measuring the angles of shapes. Try practicing cooperation by doing your work with a partner if possible. Now we're going to play some games. If there are more than one of you, play games in teams and cooperate with others on your team. If there's just one of you, draw a challenge course on your yard with chalk and then follow it. If you don't have chalk, create a challenge course out of items that you have. Record yourself and show us your awesome course. Finally, grab your art materials because we are going to make an awesome flip book about cooperation. All right, guys, remember to comment below if you have any questions. I had a magnificent time with you today, my friends, and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Thank you for joining us, and remember, keep on building.